I'm Jody Nephew and I'm a customer service professional. So I discovered breast cancer all on my own. I was in my shower one morning doing my regular breast exam and I felt a lump in my left breast. For a second year, I was scared. I kind of gathered myself and I felt again and I felt around and around until I was convinced that there was indeed something there. When my doctor said, um, unfortunately, um, it's not good news, I felt a lot of emotions, but in truth, I already knew that it was not going to be good news. So I wasn't surprised, but it was, hearing it confirmed was really emotional. From the moment I felt the, the lump, I decided in my own self that my breast had to go. So even though I know surgery was going to be hard, it was something that I myself, that's a decision that I took for myself. Now, going to the doctor after that, the oncologist, and hearing her say, you have to do chemotherapy, which without doing much research, we know that chemotherapy damages your body. I can tell you from experiencing it, it is hard, but it is doable. It was mentally challenging for me. I suffered from anxiety. I would get anxiety attacks the day before every chemotherapy treatment. I would have sleepless nights before. I would have to calm myself. But there's something mentally challenging about knowing that you are going to put this medicine into your body. That yes, it's going to help you, but it's also going to kill something within you. When I was diagnosed, I reached into my spirituality and I decided, I bargained with God. I said to God, I am going to live. This thing will not kill me and I will not be sick. I made that commitment to myself over and over every day. That was my mantra. I shall not die and I shall not be sick. The most important lesson I've learned is that you can do it while afraid. And action, whatever you do, take action. Taking action steps really, really helped me. So each day I focused on the steps that I needed to take. What are the actions I am going to take today in order to beat this thing? Because in the back of my mind, I always knew I had to win. I call my community my tribe. My tribe is my family and my very close friends. I learned during my journey that you have to pick your tribe carefully and you have to be open to them. I had a person for every need that arose, there was a member of my tribe to fill that. So I think having your community, whatever that community looks like, whether it's your family, whether it's your close friends, whether it's your medical team, having your community is so important because you always know that somebody has you. During my journey, each day, I had to decide that today I am going to fight. Every time a treatment time came up, I would be anxious, I wouldn't sleep, and I had to make the decision every time, yes, I am going to do this. After every night comes the morning, and all oh, the morning, it is so sweet.